Guys, look at the exam topic. We are in the second section, platform knowledge. Now I am going to ask a couple of questions around this topic. And specifically, I will be focusing on this one, the first one. List and describe high level the use of UiPath products. If you know all the UiPath products well or not, there will be questions framed. In the exam also, I have created some sample questions as per the documentation of UiPath on every product. So let's see how many of those you can answer correctly. All right. So we are on the second topic, platform knowledge. Let's get started. The very first question, a developer wants to transform data from IT systems into visual interactive dashboards to identify what is the purpose to identify bottlenecks and discrepancies in business processes. Which UiPath product should they use? Here are your options. UiPath task mining, UiPath communication mining, UiPath process mining, UiPath insights. Now tell me which one will you choose? Okay, I hope you have selected an answer. Let me reveal the answer is UiPath process mining. Let me show you the documentation. If you go to process mining, and open this particular doc, Introduction to Process Mining. UiPath Process Mining is a process mining solution that transforms data from your IT systems into visual interactive dashboards. This allows you to see existing value decreases, bottlenecks and discrepancies as well as understanding the root cause and possible risks of your process. Okay. It offers a real-time valuable insights to improve business process over time. So it's fo focused on business process. So the answer is process mining. Let's see if you can answer the second question. Which UiPath product collects employee desktop data logs, user actions, and uses AI for analysis? Identify the best automation ideas. So here the question is, which product collects employee desktop data and logs. Here are your options. UiPath communication mining, UiPath task mining, UiPath process mining, UiPath document understanding. Now, which one you think is the right answer? Please do comment. Okay, let's participate and do comment in the comment section of the video. Okay, so let me reveal the answer. The answer is UiPath task mining, which collects employee desktop data logs, user actions, so let me show you the documentation here. If you open the task mining introduction, task mining enables you to gain deep understanding of existing processes happening on your team's desktop and discover new automation opportunities. Task mining collects employee desktop data. Okay. This is the line logs it open each user action and leverage AI for analysis. So the right answer is UiPath task mining. Let's proceed to the next question. An employee wants to share their idea for automation and manage the automation pipeline in a collaborative environment. So it is talking about managing a pipeline in collaborative environment. Wants to share their ideas. They want to share their idea where they, which product are you going to use? Here are your options. UiPath process mining, UiPath task mining, UiPath automation hub, UiPath insights. Take your time and comment your answer. Let me reveal the right answer is automation hub. Let me show you the documentation. UiPath automation hub is a collaborative process identification, automation pipeline management and process repository tool. Now in this one, if you scroll down here, you would see pipeline management, your company's automation plans, their status, expected benefits and other important details are displayed in one single place. So if you go through this page, you know which is the right answer. Let's move on to next question. A developer needs to automate third party applications by standardizing authorization and authentication. What they want to do? Automate third party applications and managing API connections. These are the keywords. Which UiPath product should they use? Here are your options. UiPath process mining. UiPath task mining, UiPath integration service, UiPath marketplace. Now, which one you think is the right answer? Comment your right answer. 
Let me reveal the right answer is UiPath Integration Service. Let me show you the documentation. Open the Integration Service introduction. Here you find UiPath Integration Service is the component of UiPath platform that makes the automation of third party applications. So whenever you hear this word third party application, you can make out much easier by standardizing authorization. I mean, how will you authenticate? If I am doing an API call, there should be an authorization process, right? So standard authentication processes are there within integration service. A helping you manage API connection and also allowing faster integration into SaaS platform. So the answer is pretty clear. The answer is integration service. Let's move on. A developer wants to build and share custom enterprise grade application. He wants to build custom enterprise grade applications with engaging user experiences using a low code platform, which UiPath products should they use? So here are your options, Studio, UiPath Apps, UiPath Action Center, UiPath Data Service. Now comment your answer. Let me reveal the answer is UiPath Apps. Let me show you the documentation, UiPath Apps. UiPath Apps is a low code application development platform that enables you to build and share enterprise grade custom application. When it comes to building an application, you can imagine it's UiPath apps. Let's move on. A developer needs a persistent data storage. Persistent data storage means what? Your, you have a RAM. The moment power goes off, the data on the RAM is wiped off, but the data on the hard drive, it is always there. So persistent means which stores the data. Doesn't matter if the power is on or off, right? It keeps your data safe. A developer needs a persistent data storage service with no code data modeling capabilities for their RPA projects. Which UiPath product should they use? So it's talking about data storage. UiPath apps, UiPath data service, UiPath integration service, UiPath process mining. Now one can easily guess with the word data. So here the answer should be UiPath data service. Now let me show you the documentation. Here is the introduction to data service. UiPath data service is a persistent data storage service that brings powerful no code data modeling and storage capabilities. Pretty simple. Let's move on to next question. A developer wants to create a workflow that can extract data from various document types. So here the keyword is document types and validate the extracted data and it the keyword is extract data. So always in a question identifying that keyword is important. So here the important word is extract data. Validate extracted data and versatile environment which UiPath products should they use from the document. So this is also quite clear. What should be the answer? The answer is supposed to be comment your answer. Let me reveal it is UiPath document understanding. Pretty simple one. Now let me show you the documentation. Uh, UiPath document understanding framework facilitates the processing of in incoming files, right? Extract information from multiple document types. The main aim to make the process of extracting data as easy as possible. The goal is to extract data from multiple different document types in one single workflow. This is the main goal of document understanding. All right, let's move on to our last question. A developer wants to use a web application for data modeling and analytics. It is the keywords are data modeling and analytics including preloaded dashboard templates where you have already some pre-built templates, user defined dashboards, which UiPath product should they use? So to, for the analytics, which product are you going to use? So look at your options and comment your answer. All right, the answer is also quite clear here. The answer should be UiPath Insights. So let me show you the documentation. Insights is a web application that serves as a platform for data modeling and analytics using a combination of available business metrics and operational insights. And in this, you would also have a lot of templates. You can see the image in the UiPath insights. There are a lot of templates. I can simply click and start using them. All right. So this were a couple of questions on UiPath platform knowledge. I hope you would have answered all of the questions correctly. Please do comment and let me know. Let's meet in our next video.